Hey, good morning, Sharon Horn Elstrom here with today's Thrive Challenge. It is day 18 already, can you believe it? 18 days we've been doing a daily challenge, something small to move us in the direction of what it is that we want. Whether it's a better relationship, more success, more money, uh, more peace and harmony at home, um, a new job, whatever it is, whatever it is that you want, I find that if I set myself a challenge and I do a little thing every day to move me toward that goal or objective, I get it before I even realize that I was working toward it. So today's challenge is in line with the Better Life 30 Day Challenge from Dean Graciosi in his book, Millionaire Success Habits. And again, it's not just about money, it's about whatever it is that you want in your life. So today's discussion is all about, and Dean does an incredibly energetic, wonderful job in his short video snippet, about negative and negative thinking and turning negatives into positives. If you have the ability to turn negatives into positives, you're light years ahead of everybody else because most people are just buoyed around or blown around by the winds of negativity that they're surrounded by. Both the negative thinking that comes from within themselves and then if you are wise enough that you can change your negative to positive, then there's so many negative messages coming at us all the time from other people, from the news media, from situations, just from our old ways of thinking and old ways of being and all of the stuff that we're surrounded with. So it's really critical that you learn to take a negative thing and turn it into a positive. The vast majority of our thoughts every day are negative or the vast majority of the information coming at us every day is negative. And we need to find a way to turn those negatives into a positive. And guess what? It's not that hard. It's like flipping on a switch. It's like flipping on a light switch at home. It's changing your mind. And we all think that it's so hard to change our mind, but it's really not. It's really super easy. It's just pulling that light cord, flipping that switch, snapping our fingers. That's how fast we can change our mind. So the challenge today is to ask yourself as you're going about your day and you run into some negativity, how can you turn that negative thought into a positive? If you're mad at someone in traffic, this, this one is, speaks close to home. I just have to remind my, my, myself that if somebody cuts me off in traffic or something, it's got nothing to do with me. It's not personal. I don't even know the person. It's got to do with what they're doing in their day, and I don't need to take it personally and get upset. But I just have to simply remind myself of that fact that, hey, they don't even care about me. They don't even know who I am or what it's all about. So why would they go out of their way to be a jerk? Well, they're not. They're just stressed out about something in their own day. Maybe they're in the a hurry to get home to make sure they beat the kids home from school. Maybe their spouse is having a baby and they're rushing to the hospital. I don't know, but I, I do know that it's nothing to do with me. So today, I am not yet ready, but I have to get ready to go to the heart doctor. And I don't like going to the doctor. I've had health challenges my whole life and I am not super afraid, but I just don't like going to the doctor. Usually it's some hassle and not great news or something that I have to be changing and I think of it as negative. But now what I've decided today given this challenge is that I am gonna get excited about going to the heart doctor and seeing how my, I have a, a internal defibrillating device. And so I'm excited to see how it performed over the last six months. You know, did I have any high stress, high drama periods? Because it gives me a report of everything that my heart rate has been doing for the last six month period. So instead of being nervous about that, I can say, oh, on this date, I can actually pinpoint and track back what happened or what I experienced on that date. So it's kind of exciting now because I can figure out, well, what happened then and what do I want to do less of or more of to make sure that it doesn't ever go off and doesn't ever fire. It did once and I will tell you, I don't want that to ever happen again. Um, not, not a fun experience, but <laughs> that's a story for another day. A challenge today, when something negative comes up, turn it into a positive. If you look at something and you want it and then you're like, oh, I can't afford that. Yeah, maybe right this minute you can't, but ask yourself a better question. How can I afford that instead of I can't afford that? That's it for today. Go out, make it an awesome day. I'm gonna go to the heart doctor and see what I can learn. And I will, of course, see you tomorrow. Bye.